Hello, and welcome to a virtual edition of our Family Fun Days. So this is October, and we are celebrating National Hispanic Heritage Month. So we are going to make a very traditional Mexican folk art it's called Hoyolata or tin art. So this we can do very easily at home by just using scraps of tin foil. So all you need are some foil. You can, you may or may not have tape around if you want to uh, tape it down to a surface. Um, you'll need some glue if you want to fancy it up and scissors. Otherwise, we're going to be drawing with a very dull pencil or the end of a paintbrush is what I'm going to use today. Some just extra things that I have around are um, bits of construction paper that I might want to use to decorate after I'm finished drawing on my foil. And I have these bright orange paper plates that I started drawing on. So I'm going to make a circle uh, piece of of tin art to go right in here and then maybe use some other things. You could use sequins or all sorts of things, pom-poms, construction paper, glitter, whatever you have around to then um, make this a beautiful art creation. So I have created one here and there's a template on our website. So this is a sun um, and I've drawn on one side then flipped it and I've colored it. Now, as far as adding color to it, Permanent markers like Sharpies really work best um, on the foil because anything else is going to kind of slip off. You can do it, but you need to let it dry really well. So I tried some paint, so it does work. Um, it's just a Sharpies or a permanent marker are a little bit faster, maybe a little bit easier, but paint definitely works. And other kinds of markers um, don't work as well, but they will work use what you have on hand. So what I'm going to do for my circle is I've got my foil and I'm taking the dull side and that's the side I'm going to draw on. And I have this roll of tape so I'm going to use that for my template for my circle. And um, I'm just using the end of my paintbrush. So I have my shape and I'm going to draw just some patterns and designs on this side. And um, perhaps I'll make it a smiley sun like my other one. Then when I flip it, I have a, an impression, which is kind of hard to see with the shiny foil. So that's my impression. I've got my circle. So now I'm going to cut it out. and start to put it on my colored um, paper plate, but you don't have to layer it onto a paper plate or any sort of construction paper. Um, you can just play around with drawing on the foil, but you're gonna draw into it whatever design that you want um, on the dull side and then flip it over. And then when you flip it over, that's when you have the, your drawing, um, it's embossing is what it's called. Um, you'll have your embossed image and then on the raised parts, that's where you can add your color or paint or however. So then I'm just going to glue it down onto my plate. And this, this is where you'll start to add your other bits of color. You can, um, where your tin art is embossed and you can see your drawing, you can highlight it with different markers. You can add color to it. Um, and that's what I have here with my sunshine face. So have fun, make lots.